pro-Palestinian protests on college campuses all across the country. Today, students at the University of Chicago set up this encampment here. Just this afternoon, Northwestern University says it reached an agreement with protesters there. The college says that tents must be removed, but peaceful demonstrations can continue another month. And the school agreed to another step. It will set up a committee on investments this fall. That comes as many students called on the university to cut its financial ties with Israeli institutions. Now, while pro-Palestinian protests continue, some Jewish students are concerned about anti-Semitism. Christian Farr explains why they're taking their message to Washington, D.C. I've had physical altercations. I've had uh, verbal um, people have been have been rude and said stuff. Since the events of October 7th, Northwestern grad student Susan Radoff has not felt comfortable expressing her Jewish heritage in public. Once the encampments came up and I heard, uh, you know, death to Jews, people wearing Hamas uh, on their uh, sweatshirts and all the slurs. Radoff and a group of Northwestern you know, students will travel to Washington, D.C. this week to push for the passage of the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. If passed, the proposed bill would adopt the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition, which says anti-Semitism is a certain perception of Jews, which may be expressed as hatred towards the ethnic and religious group. We've been pushing it at Northwestern University and other universities across the country. Alum Abby D. Gordon says this definition has been adopted by many cities and states, including the state of South Carolina several years ago. And because of um, these tactics that the anti-Israel movement is using on campuses, um, it's become that much more important for us to be able to bring this to the table. But Northwestern's encampment protesters say they are non-discriminatory and say that many of their fellow pro-Palestinian protesters happen to be Jewish. The anti-Semitism is bad. So is Islamophobia. And this issue, it's, it's a Jewish issue as well. You know, people in Palestine are also Jewish. I think we need significant action from Congress laying out what anti-Semitism means. On Wednesday, Susan and at least a dozen Northwestern students will be heading to D.C. and she's hoping her voice will help make this bill a reality. In Evanston, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Tensions escalate on college campuses all across the country, where students and some faculty are showing support for Palestinians. At Columbia University, we saw an extreme example when demonstrators there occupied a building overnight, and encampments are popping up across the country as well. One of the most recent to pop up in our area is at the University of Chicago, and that's where we find Kai Martin joining us live with more. What can you tell us, Kai? Well, good morning, Marion. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you as well. So I'm going to step out and you can see the main quad behind me here. This is right in the center of the University of Chicago campus. We're off of 58th and University Avenue, and there are roughly four dozen tents set up now. And this encampment on the lawn here first began to take shape yesterday at 10 a.m. The protesters have a myriad of demands. They say they are here in support of Palestinians living in Gaza and peace. The camp features wooden signs, flags, and food tables. There's a media tent and a library tent with free zines. A student tells me he cares about the divestment of university interests in Israel and freedom for Palestinians. The university president warned in an email to stakeholders that while, quote, the university values free expression, he wrote a tent encampment on the main quad is, quote, not acceptable. There is no peace while we are dropping these bombs, and so we have to divest in order for us to have peace and to have justice in the region. So I think we're really excited to get people around campus here and motivated and to really put pressure on, on the administration. There is a small faction here on the quad, too, with Israeli flags and support for Israel. It's a counter protest of sorts that the first encampment organizers say they have no problem with. And students tell me, Marion, that until they are officially kicked out, they will be here. Spring quarter ends in about a month on June 1st. Reporting live at the University of Chicago, I'm Kai Martin, NBC5 News. Kai, thank you. The tensions on college campuses over the war in Gaza. Today, students at another Chicago university set up a pro-Palestinian demonstration as protests in other parts of the country escalated. Here's NBC5's Kate Chappell. Disclose! Divest! We will not stop! We will not rest! A 
second day of protests at University of Chicago. Even with threats of discipline from the administration, a tent encampment stands on the main quad as pro-Palestinian demonstrators call on the university to divest from companies that do business with Israel. We need to get the university's investments out of Israel, um, outside of support for these weapons manufacturers, fossil fuel industries that are supporting Israeli colonization. It's part of a nationwide movement on college campuses. In New York City, protesters stormed and occupied a building at Columbia University overnight. Some students now facing expulsion. And at UT in Austin, dozens arrested following clashes with police. Stand up, fight back. So far, protests at U Chicago have remained peaceful. Ali Reza Dustar is volunteering as a faculty liaison. The students have been acting extremely peacefully, extremely thoughtfully. Um, I mean, what we can do is to keep on communicating, keep on acting as potential negotiators and intermediaries. Tents at Northwestern have been dismantled after five days of demonstrations. The university reaching an agreement with student organizers to permit peaceful demonstrations through May and to establish an advisory committee on investment responsibility in the fall. The announcement comes as student groups and demonstrators today launched a campus encampment for Gaza in the Quad at DePaul. Stop the killing, stop the hate. We met because we both believe in free Palestine um, and in stopping the um, bombing in Gaza. Back in Hyde Park, a Jewish and Muslim student converse, emphasizing their message is anti-war, not anti-Semitic. We understand that what makes me as a Muslim in the United States unsafe is the same things that make my friend here uh, who's a Jewish student unsafe. Demonstrators plan to remain on campus until their demands are met. Spring quarter ends on June 1st. In Hyde Park, Kate Chapel, NBC5 News. From the north side to the south side and coast to coast, protests over the Israel-Hamas war are still going on on college campuses, but now the movement is spreading to high schools and Jewish leaders are speaking out about it. NBC5's Patrick Fazio shows us what's happening. After camping out overnight against campus policy, students at DePaul University protest against the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. I knew the risks that I was taking. Um, I know I possibly could be facing suspension, maybe expulsion, um, but I'm Palestinian. I have family in Palestine right now, currently in the West Bank. They're demanding the same thing as protesters camping out at the University of Chicago. They want their schools to divest from companies that do business with Israel. We're really here to see the university change and change for the better and support a better future that is free of investments in war profiteers and bombs. How many kids did you kill today? Now, high schools in Chicago are staging protests, including at Jones College Prep. Jewish students are sounding the alarm on their safety. Jewish students feel unsafe. Jewish leaders in Chicago are speaking out against the protests, which they say support Hamas terrorists in Gaza. And the open support of terrorist organizations we've seen on college campuses must not be tolerated anywhere and especially not in our high schools. Today is the first day of Jewish American Heritage Month. And wow, what a celebration by their peers in high schools today to be faced with a walkout and be told that they support genocide for not joining them in this protest. Students protesting at Jones College Prep took a bus to join the protest at the University of Chicago. We have obligations as human beings and to each other to stand in solidarity with all struggles for liberation um, from Palestine to here. This University of Chicago student who's Jewish supports Palestinians in Gaza. There are many Jewish students here right now and there are many um, Jewish organizations that fully support this movement. This movement is not anti-Semitic. This movement is a movement for liberation and solidarity with Palestinians. Protesters at the UFC say they're meeting with the university and DePaul announced it plans to meet with protesters on their campus. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News.